Hey everybody, Syntax here. Welcome back for another episode of All of Fabric 6, and I'm being disturbed by an Enderman. Where is he at? I think he's down here somewhere. Deep down, are you hiding? Oh, there you are, Mr. Enderman. It's time to die. There we go. Hey, look at that, we got an Ender Pearl. Nice. Okay, so uh, as we wrapped up the last episode, we started to get into applied energistics a little bit, and today the goal is I think we can get the uh, the whole system maybe powered up. There's a couple things we're going to have to craft, and also in between episodes, I crafted up and also powered, because I know the question was, would the solar panel system, the uh, modern industrialization mod, interact with the applied energistics? It does. So there is, these all have power, and I have loaded, <laughs> I have loaded... I turned it with the uh, wrench. Put it back. There we go. I loaded all the different uh, the the presses with all the different presses, so we can make silicon. We can make the calculation press. We can make the uh, which one is this? This is a logic press. So there's these are all things that are going to be required as we advance in applied energistics. So what are we going to actually be crafting today? So looking at our quest log, going into right here. As you can see, I started to make some smart cable, not a real big deal, just to unlock, but this is the first thing we're gonna go for, is the ME controller. So the ME controller, as you could think of, is like the heart of the network. So it is gonna be the thing that we need to supply power to, and all of the things will feed through the controller. You can have multiple controllers. We're only gonna make one right now. And as you can see, it doesn't require nothing too crazy. So this is kind of the engineering process. There's only the kind of crazy thing we need to make. But now that we have the inscriber, it looks like we're going to need a printed silicon and an engineering circuit. So we have both of these things. So if we, and I already crafted up one, but we'll do another one on camera. So we'll do that. We'll grab one of these and one of these. So we're going to need to get the silicon, which that's the cat. I'll have to put these in some sort of order where I can remember. I think this is it over here. Yep. So if we drop that guy down uh, right here, it should craft up one silicon processor. Bingo, or printed silicon, excuse me. And then we need to make a, what was it for the diamond? Was it the calculation? No, I think that's gold. I think it's the engineering press. Is it this one? Yeah. Okay. And bingo. So we got our printed engineering circuit. So what we need to do next is we have to craft up using these two things. We're going to have to put inside, uh, inside this, uh, the uh, inscriber, we're going to put the engineering circuit and the printed silicon and one redstone, which shouldn't be a problem as I got a little bit of redstone here, so we'll just have to temporarily remove one of these guys. Redstone, is it here? Where did we go? Here, here, and here. There we go. And that should give us... Bingo, our engineering processor. Nice, and let's put this guy back. Okay, so now we need to get some sky blocks, which we got, I think, there was something interesting about those. I don't think they were normal sky blocks. They were... Oh, they were just simply cooked. Okay, so we need four of these guys. And we got our massive amount of stone, as you can see. This is all for building purposes, so let's just grab that. We can just, you know, get rid of some of that stuff, put that in uh, into the void. Let that kind of cook up a little bit. So is there anything else that we're going to need while that's cooking? We're going to need four flux crystals. Okay, so that should be no problem. Still got a couple more of those. And I was also looking at um, the, the growth accelerator. But if you look at JEI, we'll look real quick at applied. This is what I don't know. So it looks right here is like when you're growing the crystals, it looks like this is how we're doing it. I'm going to figure out how this works as far as for growing crystals. I'll have to look into that. Don't really don't really know. Don't really remember. So uh, we'll just have to see what happens when uh, when that time comes. But okay, I think that's everything we need. So if we go stone, 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 stone. That guy in the middle. And then four of these guys. There is our ME controller. Bingo. The, the heart of the network. All right. And let's grab our reward. Okay, kind of been on a bad streak of uh, the loot bags here, if anything good. And a sleeping bag. Well, I guess it's better than nothing. Okay, so now that we have the, the heart of the network, um, we are going to need to make some drives, and we we'll also need to make a terminal too as well. Uh, we won't get into the uh, the P2P 
uh, tunnels or anything like that yet. Um, we will at some point. I just want to get these guys right here, and I'm looking to craft the 4K ME item storage cells, at least to start, um, so that way we can load them all into the network drive and then have a terminal, or actually it would be the crafting terminal, and maybe uh, eventually we'll get into the, uh, the, that's where you get into auto crafting, but at least get the basic storage is kind of what we're looking at. So what is it going to take to make the drive? As you can see, it holds up 10 storage cells, so you can tightly pack your storage into a very small space. That's the whole point of this. And it looks like it's nothing too crazy. So it's just two more of these guys, some more silicone, more diamonds, and some iron and glass cable. I have all this stuff. So uh, what I'll do, since I already crafted some of this stuff, I will sleep through the night. Hopefully get a nice sunny day. And I'll come back. We'll put together the drive. And I think we're going to put it right here, maybe, Pippi. Because I think what the plan is, is we're going to have to move all the create stuff again down into here so create's gonna go here because uh, i am gonna need some uh, some room for applied energistics to be kind of being fed through the base and i'm thinking i'm gonna make some main lines right up in here on the roof and underneath um, so i'm gonna have to tear that thing out so yeah i'm gonna have to maybe uh move all this stuff so what i'm thinking of doing is mo possibly because i do a lot of work off camera maybe on a saturday i'll put up a stream of me just kind of redesigning stuff. I don't know if there's an interest to that or not. If there is, uh, drop a comment down below if you're interested in seeing maybe a stream of me just crafting and building because I'd like to kind of finish this well as too, or finish this base as well too. So, okay, so like I said, I'm gonna sleep through the night, come back, craft up a drive, and then uh, we'll go from there. Okay, so here we go. So engineering processor and then four iron ingots. And we need this guy and this guy and bingo, there is our drive. Bingo. Okay, so, yeah, so now, now we're starting to see like I'm, I'm making some little bit of progress in the pack now. So I know I, I'm a little bit slower than some, you know, YouTubers of, uh, I won't name them, but um, I try to be a little bit more slow and make things look a little bit better. And it may take me 20 episodes where it could take somebody, you know, five. <laughs> but, but, you know, hey, that's what I do and that's why you guys are here. So that's why you guys watch my videos. So, okay, so there is our Emmy Drive. Let's grab our... Logistics and storage bag, please, something good. Oh, well, there you go. I'll take that. There you go, two more engineering processors. So we maybe can craft just because, since we got two, we're going to need some more. You know what we'll do is let's grab some more iron. We'll make one more real quick, just because. I kind of want to put them right there. So let's grab, this is another reason why, because all my ingots are down here. In my nice little automated smelting area, and we'll grab like a couple iron. That should be enough. Okay. And let's put it all together. And we'll do it over here. It'd be so much nicer when everything's in one spot. But we're getting there. Slowly getting there. Okay. One, two, three, four. And then two of these guys. I know I can shift click it in there, but I like putting it this way first. Okay. There we go. So we got two drives. Now I'm thinking what we can do is we'll put we'll put them right here. This is how we're going to hook them up. So we'll put drives here and I think we'll continue to move the drives up. Um, and this is kind of how I tend to, all my designs are pretty much the same. And then we'll put, uh, I think we'll put the interaction for the crafter right over here when we want to uh, craft. So we'll eventually we'll, we'll start putting terminals all over the place. But for now, I think that looks good right there. Okay, so what do we got next? So we need to make a crafting terminal. Okay, actually, we're probably going to need to make the terminal first. I think the crafting terminal is made out of the terminal, if I don't remember, or if I remember correctly. So this is going to retake some formation cores, which is logic processor, which I believe is just gold. Yeah, it's gold and silicone. And then we're going to also need a annihilation set. It's more of the same. And then what was the other thing we needed? A panel, which is just, we've got all this stuff and quartz glass, which is more surface door dust, excuse me. So, but I think what we're gonna need to do is I'm running fairly short on this stuff. So I'm probably gonna have to go searching for another meteor and do a little bit more digging. So uh, guess what it's time? It's time to go head off, venture off. And uh, we'll come back once I get uh, another meteor found and then we'll dig it up, and then we'll come back to the base and continue on. So, okay, I'll see you guys in a couple minutes. Well, I say a couple minutes, but it's going to be for me. It could be a while. Okay, see you guys. Okay, so I found one. 
but uh, unfortunately it's it's underwater so this is going to take a little bit longer than i thought so yeah i'll, I'll see you guys in about <laughs> about two hours <laughs> okay be back okay so check it out i got another there it is i actually didn't have to go down that far but uh here is the mysterious cube we may you know what we do well let's break this real quick this shouldn't take too long to break Try not to drown in the process. There we go. Okay. I think that's, there's our block right there. We'll just get a little bit more over here. And then we'll break the, uh, the, the heart of the meteor. There we go. And you know what we'll do is, guys, there we go. Maybe I can get it right here. Can I get it here? No. Can I get it here? No. Just do it this way. Try not to drown. Come on, Syntax, don't drown. We're gonna drown. <laughs> That's okay. I actually, I, if it's just more, um, I'm curious to see if it's only the uh, the patterns. I know. We'll take a little bit. Of here. I do have a way to breathe underwater, but I'm being lazy. And it looks like it was just more of the, uh, the okay, just more of the logic process or the uh, the patterns. So, okay, back to base. Look at this. One more thing before we head back. Look at the size of that structure over there. I don't know what that is, um, but uh, we'll definitely have to come check this out at some point. So, okay, I just wanted to show you guys that before uh, we head back to the base. Okay, I found one more thing on the way back. I found a waystone on top of a little tower. I wonder if we, since I've been interacting with him as we've been exploring, I wonder if I can just drop this guy like, I don't know, maybe right over here? And will it automatically, look at that. So uh, there is, I wonder how do we add our base? That must be this one right here where we're at currently. So, okay, but I can venture to uh, the different, we'll see if it works. There we go. These are the different uh, little villages that I had discovered. So let's go back to this one right here. Hey, look, there's our base. Cool. So there is a nice little way we could teleport for now around the world. So for now. Okay. But I did got, I got to eight blocks of this stuff. So that should be more than enough to continue to progress. So we're going to need to make the, uh, the ME terminal. I want to make one of these and then I want to make a crafting terminal as well. And that's going to be nothing too crazy. So, okay, so let me get the stuff together and we'll get it cooked up in the uh, the presses over here or the inscribers and then we'll come back and I should hopefully be able to maybe get everything we need other than just to hook it up. What we need to get some basic storage and make a couple drives. So, okay, see you guys in a couple seconds. Okay, so the first thing we need to make, let's make some logic processors, which are going to be just simply we need to make gold in the logic press so we need two of these guys so logic press we'll drop two gold i don't think we can feed multiple ones i think he used to be able to put like a funnel in those but there's one we'll do two of these guys and then we're also going to need a i believe we're going to need to make okay so we need to make the alination alination course so we're going to need some let's grind up the crystal is that gonna work no it's not how are we gonna need to oh you know what we can do let's go downstairs and we can probably use our wonderful crushing wheels that we worked so hard to get I think we could probably use them right now so let's drop in two of these guys and wouldn't you know there you go okay so there's our two dusts that we're gonna need so let's also grab, we're gonna need to charge up some quartz, one quartz, which we can do very fast. Right over here, now that we have power consistently running to the uh, the charger, we won't need to have any way to, uh, to use a hand crank no more, so bingo, there we go. So let's put this all together now. So we got charge, the dust, and one logic. Oh, you know what we need to do first? Take that back. We're gonna need to, uh, we need to actually make the logic processor, so we need to get redstone and two silicone, so got the silicone we need two redstone so let's make a couple silicone press and when I wish we could feed those automatically we'll get there one and then one more and let's pick up also I thought we did another there it is okay there we go and then we need to take this guy out put redstone actually we got to go boom boom and the redstone and that should make us our logic processor We'll do it one more time. Boom, boom, and that one. 
Now we can put it all together. At least the uh, the cores together. There we go. Okay, so let's put the cores together. So we need one of these guys right here. There's our formation core. And then we're going to need to get a nether crystal, which is here. And then we'll go here, 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 and here. There's our annihilation core. Okay, so then we're going to need also... An illuminated panel, which is just quartz. I think we may need to make some more, and we've got glowstone, so that. I may need to grind up more. Yes, I am. So, so we're going to need six more of these guys. Get those cooked up. And then we're going to need to go get some sand and some glass. We know where the glass is now. <laughs> okay. Um, this might take a second. I'll come back when it's all, when it's all grinded up and ready to go. Okay, I think I'm ready to go, so let's go, uh, let's put it all into the, we go, oh, we need one iron ingot, one oh, iron ingot, always just one thing, it's always just one thing, that's how Minecraft is, it's always just one thing, alright, need to make a, right there, three of these guys, one of those guys, and then we can make, Bingo, there's our ME terminal. Okay, so that's the next piece of the puzzle. We'll go ahead and take a look. Hey, can we get a reward for one? That would be awesome. Come on, game. Be, help me out here. Give me another one. Okay, so we got... Okay, uh, a higher level, like, storage container. So, okay, that's... We'll take it. Not too bad. So, okay, let's kind of clean up our inventory here a little bit. Okay, and then, oh, we're going to need that guy. Okay, so the next thing we're going to need to craft is, let's go ahead and see what we need for the crafting terminal. So the crafting terminal is, we need that, that crafting table, and a calculator process, or processor, which is just, okay, so that is nothing too crazy. Logic, calculation, so let's grab this guy right here. Drop that in. Let's sleep through the night, because I don't want... Anything creeping up on me? Maybe we'll get some nice... Some, we need to finish the roof. Or I need to finish the roof. I should say, you guys. Hey, let, nobody's helping me out here, so I'm going to have to finish the roof. But, okay. Grab this guy. There we go. And we're going to need one more silicone. I'm running pretty low on silicone, but we should be okay. One more redstone. And then we can put this guy together. There we go. And then we're going to go boom, boom, boom. And then all we have to do is make a crafting table, which I don't know. Is there any wood around here? We got a little bit of wood. I think I have some wood down here. Maybe. Maybe. Guys, we're getting near the end of the uh, the storage mess down here. So, uh, are you kidding me? Don't have any wood. I don't have any wood. Um. Oh, really? Really, Syntax? Don't have a crafting table. And you're really just going to take this one right here. Oh, you know I am. I don't want to waste you guys' this time. There we go. We'll patch that back up in a second. So Okay. So let's get this all ready to go. And we're going to go... Calculator processor. Crafting table. ME terminal. There is our crafting terminal. Bingo. Alright. Cool. So let's grab this guy. Good reward. Good reward. Say yes. A gold sh... <sighs> It knew! It just knew that I needed it! <laughs> okay, I'll just put you here for now. <laughs> hey, look at all the space we have now. Just to stuff it full of stuff. <laughs> okay, as we get to the end of needing to have chest, of course I decide to get a chest, a gold chest. So, okay, so now let's drop down. Let's grab the terminal. We'll grab just some regular cable for now. And we'll hook this guy up right here. I need to make a good pick, too. But for now, we'll just go... Um, we'll cook this guy in right here, and then we'll put the crafting terminal right there. As you can see, it's not powered right now, but all I should need to do is supply this guy with power, and then we need to craft, and I think the drive is nothing that we haven't already made before. So it's quartz. It looks like we have to make a calculator processor. What are these guys? Nothing but, so, so this is all stuff that we've made. So I'll come back, I'll craft up like two of these guys. 
I'll come back and then we will put that together and then we'll hook this whole thing up and hopefully we've get some basic storage right here. Now it's not going to be enough to uh, to store everything here. Obviously, it's going to be expanded upon, but it is going to be a good starting point to where we can at least get basic storage going here and then we can kind of just branch off and grow from there. So, okay, I'll get back. I'll get back to work and I'll see you guys when I'm all done. Okay, so I think I got everything we need. So if we drop down the 4K storage cell and we'll put in, we need to craft these guys up right here. So two of these guys, there we go. And then we can simply just, hopefully just craft one. And then do we have enough for two? What are we missing? We're missing, oh, we need one more quartz glass. Did I not make enough? I think I'm short, so okay. Not a huge deal, we'll just go ahead and grind up two more of these guys but we did make our drive so we well, on our way over there we'll simply just drop this guy in there real fast as you can see no power just yet and let's just grind up two more quartz that should just take a second there we go and then we'll just need some more glass which you got plenty of right over here and we'll grab five of those guys that should be more than enough and then we'll go uh there we go we'll grab that and we'll make some quartz glass here we go and then we'll grab that now we should be able to put one more together bingo there we go okay cool so now the last thing to do and then we'll call it an episode is let's drop this guy right there let's head downstairs and we're gonna have to knock out a wall check it out what is that a flint knife oh just knife okay so let's knock out a little bit right here so we're obviously gonna have to destroy a little bit of our base but maybe here we go right here so what we're gonna do is we're just gonna simply run power and we need to grab our oh, we need one more thing before we hook this whole thing up just for the time being we're gonna drop the drive or the uh, the network controller Right, which I think I got stored in here. Yep, we'll need this guy too. Okay, so let's go downstairs and we're gonna put it all together and hopefully it fires up and we will get some basic storage. So let's just, for the time being, drop this guy. Uh, we'll put uh, one cable right here and then we'll put the controller right there and then we'll just run cable all the way across to connect to the power source over here. So that should do it right there. So we're gonna run cable all the way across not going to be the best looking design just yet but this is just for the beginning and we'll have to knock out a little bit more of the wall here we go and look once you know it lines up perfect not that it was planned <laughs> okay so boom boom and we've got lights so if we go upstairs we should get we got power on our drives and we'll put our little glass back there we go. And now we should have a crafting table now that is we can interact with. We can store. Look at that. Finally. All right. Cool. So now we have, as you could think, call it uh, digital storage now. So now the bigger project is I'm going to have to move all of this stuff and uh, start stuffing it into the network, which I will you know, gladly do off camera. But uh, we also are going to have to find a way if we can interact with these guys, too, because I know back in the day with storage drawers, you were able to hook up with the, I want to say it was the storage bus and I'm pretty sure that's still a thing right here this guy right here uh, you would be able to interact with um, containers like that because I would like to not be wasteful of my storage space and a lot of the stuff that I could store in these containers would be a nice way if we could access it through our network but that is an issue for another day so we hey look at that we got it all set up and we are got the basic AE system working inside this space so that is a win okay so that's gonna wrap up today's episodes we'll see you on the next episode of all of fabric 6 take care